dark and wait, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Ah! Oh, oh, jeez. Hmm. Oh yeah? Well, you'll just have to tell the record company hey. that I will only do the world tour if I start in Antarctica. My penguin fan base is very important to me. Don't worry, Tom. Ben? Nobody touched your nerdy science things while you were gone. Uh, my science things? Hey, come chill with me, amigo. Angela. A new episode of McGillicuddy and Bongo is starting. McGillicuddy and Bongo? Don't you mean <laughs> Bongo and McGillicuddy? Oh, a camera, great. It seems I've been transported through a wormhole to a parallel universe. This looks like my normal residence, but everything is reversed. The strangeness is alarming, so I will approach the problem rationally and remain calm. I am freaking out! Ha! Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm stuck in some sort of bizarre world! You people are my friends, but you're, you're not my friends! Aw, oh, buddy, relax. I'm still Angela, TV-loving couch potato. And I'm still Honk Honk, the world's next biggest pop star. And I'm still Ben, cool front man of Ben and Tom Enterprises. Cool? <gasps> then that means I'm... You're Tom, the nerd. And... No. Hey, <laughs> Tom fainted again. <laughs> Minute. You're saying... Yes. And if you're here, then our Tom is... Yes. And the opposite of no is... Yes. Hmm. How do we know you're not the real Tom? The glasses. Oh. This could be some kind of April Fool's Day prank. Aha, but it's not even April. Yeah, then we'd never expect it, okay? I'm on to you. I happen to be an expert on comedy, so I'd come up with something very funny if that was my goal. Example, why did the keynote speaker at the science conference cross the road? Why? To get to the other slide. <laughs> slide. Hey, who's stealing my jokes? So you're saying, in your universe, you're the cool one? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't see it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but who cares? Welcome to our universe, Whoa. cool Tom. Yeah, thanks. Dude, this calls for a celebration. Cool. <laughs> Is everything okay, Chums? <laughs> uh, Ginger, is that you? This is new Tom. He's like a cool Tom from a parallel universe. Oh, welcome! Had I known we had a special guest, I'd have cooked a special dinner. I say we order milkshakes. No, let's order pizza. No way, milkshakes. Guys, 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 there's no need to fight. We can just order both. Wait, what? Both? Yeah, we'll just order pizza and milkshakes. But Whoa! Looks like we got a problem solver in the house. This is gonna be amazing. I'll go pick everything up. My treat. No, no, I insist. Yeah! yeah! Cool. Hello, anybody in there? Yes! <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering if you could help me fix my broken heart. It phone! Oh, of course I can. That's my job. I am a grape geek. My name is Enon. Like the element! What a grape name! Grape name? Oh, sorry, just because we're in the grape store. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good! You're funny. <laughs> would you say I'm very funny? Oh, I would! I would say that. Calm down. No need to go bananas! <laughs> Ah, uh, you come to work thinking it's gonna be just another day, then all of a sudden you're in a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of this make sense to you? Nope, I thought we were just looking at the pictures. Ah, I'm in love! Hey, that's great. I hope it's not you know who again. <laughs> no, not the moon again. It's a girl. By girl, do you mean planet Venus? <laughs> <laughs> no, a real person. Look, 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 look. Her name's Sinan, and she works at the grape store. Whoa, she gave you her number? Then it sounds like this girl wants you to ask her out. Out? Out where? On a date. With whom? With you. <laughs> oh, no! What should I do? Should I call? Should I do it in person? Should I develop an app to do it? Easy, Harry Styles. Let's just run through some scenarios and see what you've got. Who? <laughs> 
Mm. All right, Ben, just pretend you're asking Zeno. Zenon. Oh, sorry, uh, out on a date. Now, just do your thing and we'll give you notes. Just do my thing, got it. <clears throat> Hi, Xenon. Would you like to go out with me sometime? And we're going to stop you right there. Why? What did I do wrong? You can't just walk right up and ask her out. You're being too bold. Yeah. Ow! <sighs> what? No, don't listen to him, Ben. Uh, You're not being bold enough. Just listen to your heart and tell her how you feel. Uh -huh. He can't just tell her how he feels. Then she'd know exactly how he feels. Uh -huh. Yep. Are you kidding me? He has to. Oh, really? How do you expect anything to ever happen if he doesn't romance her? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Whoa, 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 what is the rush? Huh? I don't see why he can't just play it cool. Uh, okay. Start out as friends and maybe make a move in uh, a few years uh, or so. You're hopeless, Tom. Huh? Xenon has probably been waiting on Ben uh. to make a move forever. She has. Uh -huh. Well, maybe he's afraid to risk their friendship uh -huh. and he just needs some sort of sign from her. Uh, hello? She's been giving him nothing but signs. He needs to take it slow. He needs to be romantic. Slow. Be romantic. Slow. Romantic. Slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it. Oh, we're here. There she is. Hey, hi. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, every time. I, I just need to find my glasses now. I can't. Ah. Here we are. Xenon, it's good to see you. Ben, Cherry, nice of you to stop by. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You're so wonderfully clever and, and, and smart, and but also clever. And you're hilarious. Did I say that? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, sup, dude? Uh, not much, D dude. No, huh? bigger, bolder. <clears throat> People of the Grape Store, your attention, please. I'd like to make a grand gesture of a romance. Oh, no. Ben, why are you acting so weird? See? Shoulda listened to me. See? Shoulda listened to me. And who are they? They're instructing me on romance and playing it cool and... Five! I've never met them in my life. I gotta go! Okay, bye! Keep it down! Oh, Ben, wait! Yeah, Ben, wait up! Ahem. <laughs> How many astronomers does it take to screw in a light bulb? None! They prefer to work in the dark. <laughs> ah, enough! We have got to stop Ben. If the CEO hears one of his terrible jokes, he's gonna think we're the lamest, most uninspired company ever. Which means there's no way we'll be millionaires by the date I predicted on my calendar. I'm sorry, but your stand-up is just... Not as good as, uh, it could be. That's an understatement. I'm all for constructive criticism. That's how we artists improve. Well, there's something... Uh, maybe it's your delivery. Or your jokes, or the fact that you're not funny. So, you're saying it's my delivery, then. Or maybe, you know, the other two things I mentioned. Hmm. So all I have to do is find some way to improve my delivery. Oh, no. Was that his robot building face? Prepare to witness history. To improve my comedy delivery, I created the world's first fully robotic, fully hilarious ventriloquist dummy. Rise, Galileo! Rise! Oh, yeah, I named him Galileo. Hello, I am Galileo. Enthusiasm on, calculating comedy, loading jokes. It's a lie! A lie! <laughs> Ooh, this reminds me of that movie about the mad scientist who created a monster. You mean Frankenstein? No, that's not it. Hank, you're thinking of Frankenstein. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nope, that's vinegar. Whatever, Stein. Nice to be here. Say, why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? I don't know, Galileo. Why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? Because he was looking for a big reaction. <laughs> Thank you. Is Galileo even less funny than Ben? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretending I can't hear.
Did I just make a joke about chemistry? Yikes! That is lame. <laughs> Almost as lame as that lab coat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? The only thing more drab and boring than that lab coat is the guy wearing it. Hey! -o! <laughs> See, we got you, Ben. Did somebody just say something? <laughs> we can go over it with football. <laughs> Apparently, the vinegar from Hank's sandwich had the perfect acidity to turn Galileo into a delightful wisecracker. For the first time ever, I'm actually confident that Ben will get laughs on stage. Well, I'm sure there's been other times. Nope. Uh... A little more vinegar. Make sure his tongue is sharp for tomorrow. A little extra comedy never hurt anybody. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Guarded. You look thirsty. Oh, let me water your flowers. <laughs> Come on, my girl, cutting back to headquarters. Hmm. Ah, nope, 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 nope. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I want my voice back. I got it. We can just go back through the teleporter the opposite way we came. Yes, let's try that. Hmm, interesting. According to my calculations, that might leave you even more mixed up. Oh. <gasps> Is this permanent? Definitely not. After a few days, your cells will regenerate and your voices should return to normal, annoying voices. A few days? Can't you find a way to fix this sooner? Strictly impossible. Unless I... Well, let me try something. Wow, you really do have a lovely voice. Do you want me to sing to you? La, 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 la. Uh, Are you gonna say something? I would, but every time I open my mouth, I hear your voice. Wow. Tom sounds really mad at Tom. That's Angela's phone. Uh-oh, it's her mom. Rocket bike! We put a rocket on a bike! Rocket bike! Uh. Our bossy grown-ups always telling you what to do. Yeah! Be the boss of your own life now! Tom? Tom? Hey, Tom. It's me, Angela. You're so smart and funny and handsome. I really wish you were my boyfriend. Ah! I really wish you were my boyfriend. Ah! Yeah, that's a keeper. Tom, you in there? Uh, just a minute! Uh, Angela left her phone here. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? It's your mother. I mean, it's her mother. Yeah, and? If a kid doesn't answer when their mom calls, the mom will worry. Yeah, you're right. I better take this. Hi, Mom. It's me, Angela. Uh, your daughter. Rocket bike. Order your rocket bike today. Must have permission from a grown-up to order a rocket bike. Rocket bike. Rocket bike. I'm calling to order a rocket bike. Oh. Unfortunately, you must be at least 18 to order your rocket bike. Huh, you don't know how old I am. I can tell by your voice. You're just a little kid, little kid, little kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Think. Oh. Think, think, think. I know. I'm thinking. Obviously, I'm thinking. But think smart. Hmm. If I can refocus the plasma injector. Oh, no. That would disrupt the cell reassembly nodes. <laughs> uh huh. <sighs> wow, that was sure a long and detailed story. <gasps> uh, um, hey, mom, quick question. Have I ever talked to you about a guy named Tom? You know, the really cool, handsome, charming guy? <laughs> ah, Lance? Who's Lance? <laughs> Hey, mister, you watch where you're going! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't wake your baby. Oh. One chance, Lance. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Angela. Lance. Oh, baby, you sound upset. You're mad because I still haven't invited you here. <gasps> 
I know, I know, I promised, but until now, I wasn't sure you had enough experience to work in my club. But if you're this confident of your talent, I will put you on stage tonight. Oh, you're a music promoter? Yes. I heard a yes. <gasps> Chance lands for nothing. Uh, uh, <laughs> but seriously, you got one shot at this. Don't mess it up. Uh, wait. Lance? Huh? <laughs> this Sunday is called All or Nothing. If you can eat it all, it's free. If you can't, it's 500 bucks. Uh huh. I heard free Sunday. I'll take it. Are you sure? Uh... Rhonda, please. I've never had trouble finishing a dessert in my life. It's your stomach ache. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We got a challenger here for the all or nothing. <laughs> Challenge? Yeah, right. This'll be easy peasy, icy creamsy. <sighs> Whoa! What kind of ice cream is this? It's made from a special super condensed milk. <laughs> That's rich. All right, I'm full. Thank you for dining with us today. Your total will be, uh, 500 bucks. Is it 500? Uh, here's the thing. I don't have that much money with me or in the bag. Then here's the thing. You're the new dishwasher. Take your sponge, <laughs> name it, love it, and learn how to use it. Wait, did I just get a job? I don't want a job. How did I get a job? The last dishwasher quit, and this is way easier than hiring a replacement. But what about building? We'll start as soon as I get home from my job, which I'm just starting, which I'm not sure how I got. Oh, that's sweet. Now get to work! Wow, Ginger, that's a really <laughs> cool design. Um, but isn't that too many fins? Or maybe it's not enough fins. I don't know. What's Hank getting home? That's weird. He should have been home by now. <laughs> huh. Um, hmm. Hmm. With Hank on and his spot available, it's actually possible to select a TV program. Hmm. I can't even remember the last time I actually held the remote control. Well, turn it on. Bongo and McGillicuddy, I'm not watching this stupid show. Come on, Ben, give it a chance. It's funny. Oh, sure, why not? It'll be interesting to study the lowbrow comedy that amuses Hank. Okay, McGillicuddy. Today's the day we finally arrest those no-good banana thieves. <laughs> no, you can't eat the evidence. <laughs> um, oh, Cuddy. An orangutan working on a banana crime. The comedy possibilities are infinite. That practically writes itself. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Hank! Finally! Look at my design! Yeah, that's great. Hank! Look! Look! Hank, you're not looking! Hank, have you been washing dishes this whole time? Yeah, look, my fingers are all pruty. I'm exhausted. <sighs> oh, okay, good enough. Get up! We have to make my rocket! Oh, we will. Just give me one second to... Hank! <sighs> wake up! Oh. Hank! <sighs> Rhonda, I think I'll head home early today, okay? Oh, no, you won't. Oh, I have to. I promised Ginger I'd help him build a rocket. The dishwasher can't leave until all the dishes are washed. But I did wash all the... Back to work! Oh. 